This is a Sony ZV-E10. And this is someone who has never used a camera in their entire life. Basically, what I wanted to do was use this time in this channel to learn how to use the Sony ZV-E10. I'm not gonna do another unboxing video because if you're watching this, you've probably already watched countless unboxing videos and reviews about how to use the Sony ZV-E10, but you're learning and listening to people who are like professional photographers and videographers, of which I am neither. I am a beginner content creator and I am trying to learn how to use this camera. I wanted to give you the opportunity to view it through the eye or the lens, see what I did there, of a complete beginner, someone who has never used or handled a camera like this ever before in their entire life. So let's talk about it. What is going on everyone? My name is Derek. Welcome back to this channel where I am simply just using this channel as a creative outlet. I want to find ways to grow my abilities as a content creator. I will learn how to create engaging videos, take really good pictures, and ultimately want to just share that journey with all of you. So if you're interested in something like that, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. But if not, you just want to stick around and, and learn and see kind of what I'm going to talk about today with the Sony ZV-E10 feel free to just stick around, maybe drop a thumbs up in the spare time, it really would help. Or you could just wait till the end of the video when I actually give you something to give a thumbs up for, which is pretty much how YouTube is supposed to work, but sometimes people are really generous and like to just like the video right away. But anyways, let's jump right into the topic of conversation. I am learning how to use the Sony ZV-E10. And right now I'm recording on my iPhone 13. Yes, if you don't have a camera currently and you want to create content, I believe that the best place to start is with your iPhone or your Samsung or your Google Pixel or whatever. The camera quality on a smartphone is so incredibly high and it's a great way for you to start learning how to record video, how to get your lighting set up right, how to find a good spot to record, how to use audio equipment, how to use all of that kind of stuff. And then also how to edit the video and upload it to YouTube. The point of this video is to learn how to use the Sony ZV-E10. I actually uh, got the money to purchase this for Christmas. I wanted a camera, I wanted to buy my first ever professional camera with interchangeable lenses. And this was the one that I discovered on the internet, specifically on YouTube. It's a great beginner camera for people who are just starting out with content creation and even just some photography. It took a couple different Amazon purchases, but I was finally able to get the camera in, get the SD card and the lens all separately, but I was able to get all the pieces together so I could actually put the camera together and kind of figure out and stumble through that entire process. And I gotta be honest with you, the first time I picked this thing up, I was in awe. I was shocked. I had never ever held a camera like this before in my entire life. Like I said, I have been using my iPhone to shoot all of my video content on TikTok and on YouTube. If you didn't already know, I actually have a YouTube that is just under a thousand subscribers where I talk about the Denver Broncos and the NFL. So if you're interested in, in football content, you can go ahead and give that one a subscribe if you want. Uh, but you definitely don't have to. But that's where I do most of my work on YouTube. This channel is for learning how to be better at all of that stuff. And so when I picked this up, I was in awe. I was like, I can't believe that I finally have my own professional camera. I've got a lens that I have to attach and detach and adjust the aperture and the ISO and the focal length and all of that stuff. I'm like learning all of this new language and new lingo like on the fly as I go, which is really fun. And then I got to the point where I had to put the battery and the memory card in and I could not figure that out for the life of me. So that is actually on the bottom of the camera here. There's a little button here, I think that you pull this out and your, your battery pops out and you just pop it right in. You can kind of see inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, you can see all of the little mechanical things that you can line up with that part of your camera or your battery and you just slide that in there and you pop it in and it closes. And then I think, I actually haven't taken the SD card out yet, so I don't know how to do this part. We're gonna learn together on the fly here. I think you just push it in and it pops out and then you just kind of slide it out. 
like that. But I think the way that you put this in is you actually, this, the part, like the, the label on the front, you want facing away from the battery when you're sliding that in and you just put it in. There you go. And then you close it. And then obviously, because this is a Sony E-mount, you have to have a lens separately. And this is actually the Viltrox 20 millimeter F 2.8 lens, which is actually really affordable, really inexpensive. And like the seven days that I've been using this camera, it's actually given me some pretty cool video quality. So that's all you have to do. And when you are putting the lens on the camera, you've got this little white dot right here. And then you've also got one right there on the little mount piece. So what you want to do is you just line those up and slide it in and then you turn it and then it clicks and it locks and you're good to go. To take it off, there's this little button that you press right here. You just press that and then you're able to pop it right off. So that's how, that's how you put a lens on friends. Yeah, we're learning together today. The lens is on, you've got your battery in, you've got your memory card in, and then what you wanna do is switch it to on. That one's pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. And then from there, your screen should pop on on the back, then you're, you're ready to roll. And this camera has three options. There is photo, video, and S and Q. And to switch between those, you just press that button that's got the photo, the video, and the S and Q, and you'll switch from picture mode to take pictures video mode to record videos and S and Q, which is your slow mo, slow motion mode, which is really cool. And so right now what you're, who you're looking at right there, that is my dog, Batman. He's just chilling on the couch because I record my videos sitting in front of my couch. Here is the camera. And so on this screen, you're going to see these numbers down here. And I'm actually in, um, I'm going to, I'm going to switch over to movie mode. M for video movie mode. You're gonna see these numbers here. One over 50, F 2.8, and then this number plus two, and then the ISO right there. I am shooting in 4K. I'm gonna to go to the menu mode here, and we can see that in the recording setting, this is on the second tab. Recording setting, I am in 24 frames per second, 100 M. I'm gonna figure out what that means, but you can shoot in 30 or you can shoot in 24 and I am in 4K because the file format is 4K, not 1080p, just 4K here. When you got that done, you hit the menu button, you go back to your home screen, and then you're ready to shoot. And so what this number is, is your shutter speed. So when you're shooting video, if you're shooting 24 frames per second, you want this to be one over double your frames per second. So I'm shooting at 24, so they don't have a 48, so it's one over 50. If I were shooting in 30 frames per second, it would be one over 60. Okay, and then the F is your aperture number. That's the number that is the light that's coming into your lens. And this number right here is one you're gonna wanna pay attention. This number has to do with your white balance and your ISO is also involved in that. And so one way that you can change your aperture to let less light in is by this little knob right here. You just, you just spin it with your thumb and you can open or close your aperture ring to whatever distance you're able to. And I like to do F 2.8 because that is the blurry background. The, the lower the number on your F, the blurrier your background is going to be. So that's at 2.8. So what I can do here is I can click ISO on this little toggle thing and I can go lower with that. I think this looks pretty good right here. So let's see. We're still at plus 0.7. So maybe one more click to ISO 1600. Still at 0.3, try this, and we're at zero. So that means that the camera is figuring out my white balance here. And that's how you set up your video to shoot videos. So now I'm gonna actually switch over to the Sony ZV-E10 for the rest of this video. And now here we are on my Sony ZV-E10. I'm so excited that I'm finally able to figure out how to get all of this stuff set up, how to even put a battery in, how to put a memory card in, how to get this set up, ready to go to record the video. And look at this footage. This looks great. I'm looking at myself in the little flip out screen and it looks amazing. I'm really happy with the way that this camera looks, the way that it is going to make things feel when I sit down to create the content. And I will say I am wearing something different than the first half of this video because I recorded this the other day and then when I went to go and edit, the audio was way messed up. So I'm gonna put a note here about where to go to make sure that your audio is not too high when you're recording it, your audio recording level, and where to set it where I think it might be good for you to um, set that as you record your videos. So here we go. 
Hopefully this helps you. This honestly helped me just to be able to sit down and explain it to you. So hopefully you learned something today because I know that I learned something in making this for you. And I really I really hope that you stick around uh, for more of the, the content, more of the ideas, more of the things that I'm going to work on moving forward on this channel here. So be sure to click that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one, friends. Enjoy your dinner.